Hi, I'm Julia Carter, celebrity makeup artist, and today I'm here with Speedo Sculpture to give you some great tips and advice on how to take the plunge and get back in the pool. So no makeup makeup is really the key to looking gorgeous in your swimwear. There's loads of waterproof foundations out there, as well as foundations with SPF in it as well to protect your skin. Use a tiny amount of high definition makeup or traceless makeup and apply it to the face very, very sparingly. So the areas that you need more coverage really would be around the eyes and on the T-zone and then as you go towards the end, my top tip would be just to very, very finely blend it out until it's seamless. Now, unless you've got really sparse eyebrows, I would avoid doing anything with the eyebrows and what I recommend would be a clear eyebrow gel because it's clear, it's not going to run and it's water resistant, so you just literally comb it through the eyebrows just to keep the eyebrows in place. Next, I'm going to apply a waterproof mascara. Be careful not to use any mascara on the bottom lashes, that's a good tip because if you do and you blink, it's more likely to transfer on the bottom. Even though it's waterproof mascara, you still have to be quite careful with it until it dries. The latest innovation out there is this waterproof sort of felt tip pen and literally you've got to work very, very quickly with it, but once you've got it on your lips, it just doesn't budge. Another really amazing tip is to get an oil blotting sheet. And they're not very easy to sort of apply directly onto the face because they sort of flop around everywhere. So a little top tip is to get like a powder puff or foundation sponge and literally roll it in there and then just press into the skin. When you're removing any type of water resistant makeup, always remember to use an oil based cleanser because if you use water, it just won't budge at all. A lot of women don't feel confident about hitting the pool because they look so pale. Don't be afraid to use a fake tan. There's so many fake tans out there, even some that develop in an hour. Don't be put off by hitting the pool if you've got scars, pigmentation or thread veins. There's so much you can do. Choose a great camouflage cream. This one's called Cara Mask, which is a water resistant cream which helps to hide any imperfections. If you're thinking about hair removal before you hit the pool, I always recommend shaving 24 hours before, waxing 48 hours before to avoid any irritation. I'm gonna let you into a little secret here, a great tip before you go into the pool to stop chlorine from penetrating in your hair and doing your hair a load of damage is to simply just put your head under the shower and wet your hair and fill it up with as much water as possible before you go swimming. Therefore preventing any more chlorine to sit in the hair shaft and do your hair damage. Another great tip to protect your hair, especially if you've got coloured hair, is to use like an Aragon oil or like say for example Moroccan hair oil which is great. So saturate the hair in that, comb it through and then tie it in a really tight bun. So for you girls that want to sort of go swimming and to look great but you want all your hair off the face, this is a great tip. Just get the hair and just roll and twist, roll and twist all the way around and then secure the ends with an elastic band and repeat this process around the head until you run out of hair. So once you've actually sort of rolled and intertwined each section, just pick them up again and then just twist them into one another. Just literally two or three pins is all you need. Doesn't matter if it looks messy because that's the whole point, you don't want it too done if you're swimming. 